hello everyone welcome to my channel and thank you for watching uh, today I will show you how to crochet a, a patch of either coaster or you can use it for your any pattern you want or any design you want a blanket or anything but today I'm gonna do it as a um, coaster and I just did a these are all double crochet all of them most of it all of it are double crochet you start with the square of double crochet I did my own way a coaster I've seen so many of them online on YouTube and I did a square of double crochet and then grand square style design and then at the end I did the leaves so I hope you like it and thank you for watching and I'm using a yarn by new fashion double knitting by Woolcraft and I'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet is a very easy design even a beginner can do it let's get started so we will start with a square and we chain 10 so I do my slip stitch So we chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After 10, I normally put my finger here to remember that was the 10th one. And then I will chain 4 more. That will be 1 double crochet and a, spray, and a chain. So we go 1, 2, 3. Four. So the three are one double crochet and one chain. So I yarn over and I create another. You skip one, so you create another from the tenth. You go back one and you do a double crochet. So I have a chain of one. I have one double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet, which I have skipped one in the at the bottom. So I chain one. I skip one, I go to the next one, and I do an, a double crochet. I chain one, skip one, do a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, another double crochet. Skip one, skip one, another double crochet chain one and the last one skip one and the last one there you do a double crochet so you have one two three four five six seven okay we turn our work we chain four again so we have a one, one double crochet and a chain one two three four then we do another double crochet we leave the space where we have a chain and on top of the double crochet, we go, we do another double crochet from there, from the previous row. We chain one, we skip, we go on top of the double crochet, we do another double crochet. We chain one, do another double crochet on top of the other one, the previous row. Chain one, another double crochet. Chain one, skip, and on top of the double crochet. Chain one, skip, and on this last one, you can count from the bottom one, two, three, at the top of it, you do another double crochet on, on top of it. So we will repeat the same thing until you get the desired size you want. So we are creating, we are creating the circle. So I will do the next two rows so that we have the square and then I will come back thank you okay now I have created the, um, the square I just did four rows one two three four so what are we, we will what's next we will chain one and then between the spaces all these spaces all round we will do two single crochet on each so we do two single crochet 
in each and every space of the double crochet spaces. So we are going round. But at the corner here, I've done because I came this way. I did two. Now I'm going that way. I did another two at the corner here. So I will do two more here. So here we have four. But each and every space where the double, double crochet are, I did two single crochet. Go to the next one. Single crochet. Single crochet. Now at the other corner, I will do two more here. I have finished that row. Now I turn and I will hide this yarn. I'll do another. So this here, I will do two more. So at this corner again, we have four and we have four here. So each and every corner, we will have four single crochet. So we have hidden the yarn, you can see where the yarn is. So I'll do two more here at the corner. So we have four, each and every corner, we have four, sing, we have four single crochet. So I'm on the last row here. We do another two single crochet on each space. So I've reached the end. So because I had done, I need to do two more at the corner here because I started with two. And then on top of the where I started, I just do a slip stitch just to join that row, just a slip stitch. So that's the square you get. Now we have done the square. So the next, design is the granny square design so we create a corner and then three clusters of three double crochet crochet on the same stitch and then a corner so we start with a so i start with a double crochet chain three one two three and on the same same space i do two more double crochet because the chain of three, it counts as a double crochet. So chain two, to create a corner, we do the same, same place. We do another three double crochet. One. Two. Three. Okay. Now, within these spaces, we skip one. We do another three double crochet on the same space to get a granny square design we go to the next one skip one do another three double crochet in the same space and the last one we skip one skip one so we have reached the corner which is here we skip one. So on this, on top of here, we create a corner. One, two, three. Chain two. And the same, same place to create a corner, we do another three double crochet. So we have created a corner. We have done three double crochet on the same place to create a grand square design. At the corner, we create another corner with um, two, three double crochet separated by two chains. So skip one, three double crochet on the same stitch. Skip one, 
three double crochet on the same stitch skip one another yeah skip one another three double crochet on the same stitch so we skip one at the corner now we are the corner we create us another another corner of three double crochet separated by two chains which is a corner to chain two and the same same speed space to separate the two to create a corner we separate it with two chains one two three skip one we do another now we are going round three double crochet on the same stitch skip one three double crochet on the same stitch now we are creating a grand square design skip one another three double crochet in the same in the same stitch now we come to the corner again now we are finishing the last Low. so we do the skip one at the corner we create another corner separated by two chains of three double crochet chain two and the same space we create we do another three double crochet now we finish the row now we are coming to the corner now we finish this row with three double crochet clusters skip one So we have reached the end. So what I do, I normally, the first three double crochet, I normally at the top of it, I do a slip, slip stitch on the two corners. Do a slip stitch. And then I do a, another slip stitch, another slip stitch to go to the corner. So I'm on the corner. That's how the designs come out. So we do the same again, the second, the third row, we do again the same grand square design. Chain three, that's a double crochet. At the corner, another three double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet. So we have separated, we are, we are still on the corner. And then the first three double crochet between between the two, that's where you will do another three double crochet. Then the same one on the next space. And another space. Now I'm at the corner, I've finished, I've done the corner, I've done the grand square design of three double crochet on each spaces. Now I am on the corner, I do one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, chain two, another three double crochet on the same space just to create a corner. And now I continue until I get to a corner and I do the same thing again. So between the spaces of the double crochet, three double crochet, that's why I do another three double crochet. That's one. 
two, three, one, two, three, and the last one before I go to the corner, one, two, three, now I'm on the corner, I do the same again, three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, two chain, and another three double crochet, and then I'm going round, in between the spaces, create another three double crochet, it's very very easy, any learner can do it, I will do another just a normal granny square on the next video it's very easy to do the granny square which people are creating a lot of cluster a lot of coasters for the cups to put your cup on it because the coaster is where you put your hot drink or in a cup or and it's very very easy to do and it's fun to learn how to crochet keeps your mind busy Two, three. So I'm on another corner. One, two, three. Now because I'm on the corner, I separate with two chains. One, two, three. So I'm on the last draw to finish the row. So I do the same same thing between the spaces that's where I do the three double crochet to create a granny square design on the spaces and what happened with the granny square spaces it enlarge the clusters keep on increasing one two three now the last one one, two, three. So I am joining, I've finished the row. So I'm have to join the that row to finish the row where the three double crochet is at the top of it. At the top of it, I do a slip stitch, one slip stitch, two slip stitch. Three slip, slip. It doesn't make a difference. You won't even know you have done the slip stitch because it'll just look the same. So I've come to the corner and I have finished the granny square. So I will start with the leaves. But when you notice when you're doing the granny square design, the first one I did, I got three double crochet on the first line. One, two, three, and the corner. That's the corner. One, two, three, and the corner. On the next row, you get the increase so you get one two three four and the corner so you get corner three clusters i call them clusters of three double crochet and then you get a corner so if i had to do another row instead of the leaves so i could have had another five clusters of grand of the um, double double crochet so i have one two three four and i should have had another row which is five so they keep on increasing if you want to make it very large maybe for the kettle or something you can make it and or the teapot so you keep on enlarging to your own design but I'm gonna finish there and I will start with the with the leaves so now I'm at the corner to create now the leaves to create the leaves I will do the treble crochet so we are not doing the double crochet, we are doing the treble. So you go one, two, three, four. And then you wrap your yarn two times on the hook. And then you yarn over and you go, you finish the first one, the second one, and the third one. So you have two treble crochet. Yarn over again twice. You do another one, two, three. So I have created three treble crochet that's the first one 
So to make the the tip of it, because each and every leaf leaf has a tip. So I just chain three. One, two, three. And where I started at the top of it, you just do a single crochet. Then one, two, do another treble crochet on the same same space space. One, two, three. And again, so we are creating three treble crochet and then make the tip three chain. At the top of it, you do a single crochet and then you do another three treble crochet. I hope it makes sense. Or you can follow the text. So I have finished the first leaf. So to bend it over, I go to the next one here, the space between the three double crochet, and I just do a single single crochet so I do the same again one two three four so we are creating a leaf to make the tip one two three And another one to bend it over we go to the next space and we do a single crochet so that's how you make the leaves one two three four sorry another treble crochet another treble so there are three you can make as many as you want it depends on how many you want on the but I'm making just three chain three at the top of the where the three the last three treble crochet is you just make a single crochet and then you do another three treble crochet on that space again the same same space space two And then that's three. So we are creating the leaves with the top, with the um, tips on them. I don't know what you call them. Okay, that's how it comes out. Now I'm gonna continue up to the end. Then I'll come back. So I have finished, and you just cut the end. You just cut the end and hide it. You can use the needle, or you can just hide it with the. That's how I do it, just hiding the yarn. You just hide, I'm just hiding the yarn. you do a coaster it's easy and it's not complicated at all anybody can do it even Alanda can do it and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and like the video if you like it thank you so much Bye.